Hey, what's up YouTube, it's iPhone Tyne. I wanted to do a quick video for all you guys, and, and yes, this is going to be a quick video here. My phone is almost dead, uh, so I I will do this as quickly as possible before this thing dies, as you can see, almost dead. But I've been getting a lot of questions lately um, about iOS 7 with the GPP SIM and the RSIM 7. Um, but before we go ahead and get started, I do want to apologize to everybody. I know it's been quite some time since I posted my last video. It's been about a month and a half, two months, but I have been... I've been really busy lately. I just got uh, just got my website up, which is iPhoneTie.com, as well as the forums, which are within iPhoneTie.com. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. We've got uh, discussions, obviously, in the forums. There's a buy and sell section, as well as tutorials. Uh, 499 factory unlocks for USA, AT&T iPhones. And we've got some of the fastest servers around, which is pretty sweet. So if you want to, go check it out. If not, don't. I won't judge you if you don't, but it'd be great if you do. I won't know if you don't. I might know if you do, because hopefully I'll see you over there, but anyways, guys, sorry, it's really late. I know I'm talking a lot, and I've had a drink or two tonight, but um, let's go ahead and get started. So anyways, um, yeah, beta version one, iOS 7, works on AT&T. If we go ahead and take a look, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, it's probably just an AT&T phone. But I will prove it to you. Look, 99000. It is a CDMA iPhone. It's got an MEID. Um, GSM phones don't even have that. You can't factory unlock these. This is unlocked with a GPP SIM. Um, and it's been working very well. I've had uh, my AT&T SIM in there all day long. It, uh, it connected well. It's continued to stay connected. It works just as well as the iOS 6.1.3 and lower did. Now it's going to be the same instructions. There's nothing different. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all those instructions in this video. But if you click this little link right up here, um, it'll take you to that video, at least for now. I may do an updated video later uh, for iOS 7, but for now, just use the 6.1.3 um, GPP tutorial to learn how to do that if you need to. But anyways, guys, um, that's my video. Uh, oh, real quick. If you don't know how to get iOS 7, I mean, there's a lot of conflicting information about iOS 7. People are trying to charge uh, like five, ten, twenty dollars for you to register your UDID. Apple wants you to pay a hundred dollars to become a developer in order to get it. You don't have to do that. It's so easy, um, so incredibly easy. And the way that you do that is, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description for the IPSW, uh, the uh, well, the iOS software, I should say. Uh, for beta version one, iOS seven, and as, as new beta versions come out, I will put a new link down in the description for you. But for now, beta version one, iOS seven, down in the description, download that. Once it's downloaded, you're going to save that to a specific location on your computer where you can find it, but go into iTunes, plug your device into iTunes, and then you're going to, if you're on a PC, you're going to hit shift, and then you're going to hit uh, update, not restore just update and it will bring up uh it'll bring up your folder menu where you can select your ipsw from wherever you load uh, save that on your computer and then once you do that it will go ahead and update your your uh, phone to ios 7. Um, now the reason why you want to update it is because if you restore it then it's going to have to reactivate the phone if you have to reactivate it, it's going to give you an error telling you you need to register your udid but if you update it it will automatically be activated. It will just work out right off the bat. So that's a good way around it. You don't have to pay anything for it. It works well. That's what I've done here. Didn't pay time. Um, oh, and if you're using a Mac, you don't hit shift, you hit control, or I think you hit control. Um, yeah, control. So control, and then you're going to hit update. And um, again, it'll bring up your folder menu where you can select where you save that uh, IPSW on, on your computer and then you just update from there. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> there you go. That's my video for you tonight. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and for watching. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comment section or shoot me an email. Uh, you can also jump over to my forums and ask me there. But thank you so much and have a wonderful day.